so we have an ipython shell here depending upon what operating system you are using a command like present working directory you know you should put an exclamation to use the command of your operating system terminal command i hope you are familiar with these things if not take a look at a small youtube video there are loads on terminal commands okay so this will tell you the directory you are in i am in users srsingr pod this is the directory i am in okay and this directory is currently empty i have opened the uh, the file okay this is currently empty there is nothing in it right uh, just in case you are using windows you may want to use the command cd that will show you the current directory right okay so now i am in this directory what i will now try to do is i'll create a file here in this directory and try to put something in that file okay it may appear like a completely useless exercise but this is to teach you a concept right and with time you will realize how useful uh, this file handling will be so now let me create a file in this directory which is today as of now empty okay the directory's name is pod it's here all right so what i do is i simply say f equals open i'll give the name of a file it can be anything i will say my um, uh, my text okay and give some extension of your choice maybe i'll say txt all right you can put whatever you want here right and then i'll say w in a moment you will understand what this is okay w stands for write to this file by opening it all right and assign this entire task to this simple symbol f all right what is this this is a python's way of saying open a open a text file by name this okay and in the in the writing mode all right open a text file like this in the writing mode open it and assign that to f assign that to f as simple as that right so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and see what we can do once we create an a variable f like this it may sound greek and latin to you at this point of time but don't worry with time it will you'll be very very comfortable in fact this is the easiest part of python one or two lines of coding and there you are you know what is file handling so look at this f dot write okay uh, what shall i put of course my name i am self obsessed <laughs> okay so and then maybe your name whatever that is okay and then i'll write iit i am giving space after a word you will see the reason and then i will say python and then i will say uh india and after this once you're done you close the file by saying f dot close okay and you know what happens let me go back to the directory and then see look my text.txt is created here why did it get created because i created it here you see and i have input all these things and you will see those things here let me double click on it you see let me zoom it so that it's clear to you do you see you have sudarshan because you stated sudarshan there where where was it sudarshan and then you stated your name and then iit and then python and then india with spaces in between right you did that you see you put space in between if you were to not put space it will come continuously there there will be no uh, space here okay all these things will be one next to the other all right as simple as this so let's dissect it for a minute okay so what is this line this line is simply you are creating a file you are opening it in what is called the writable mode that's what w represents okay it, with with some time you will realize what is this w doing there all right assign this entire story to the variable f and then i say use f 
Yusuf and write the word Sudarshan to it. Yusuf and write the word your name to it. Yusuf and write IIT to it. If you're seeing, there are some numbers getting created here, right? Numbers getting created here. They are simply the bytes that you are writing, right? IIT space is four characters, so it shows four characters there, correct? Four characters. Python is seven characters, it shows seven here. India space is six characters, it shows six here, here right? And finally, you close it, correct? You close it. You close it, right? And the file gets closed and it gets written as well. So now, what if I want to, okay, what, what I'll do one thing now. I will clear this, right? And I want to read from this file what all is there. Okay, so you can do that by simply saying, let's say, um, let's say the variable x is equal to, you can also use f here, open, open, file name, what was that? My text.txt in reading mode. Okay, you are not writing to the uh, file, you are reading from the file. The moment you say that, boom, it accepts. Now, x will simply be, what will your x be? Your x will simply be this, this particular open this text in read mode. Okay, what all can you do with x? Let's see. I can say uh, s equals x read. That's it. Okay. Let me say print s. You see, the entire thing comes here. All right, whatever is in the file comes and gets attached to this string s. So it was a string, right? So you see type of s. I hope you you understand what is type of s, right? Type of s is string. This entire thing which was in the file huh, comes as a string and sits here. Okay, let me say x close. It's over now. Okay, you cannot do anything with the x right now. If you say s equals x read, it will it will throw an error. I'm sorry. It will throw an error here. It doesn't know what is x now because x is closed. The file is closed. Okay, pretty clear. But then let me do something here. Let me remove India and Python here. Let me put C++ and then uh, let's say um, uh, Germany here. Okay, just for fun. Okay, and I save it. Now the, here is a file mytext.txt which contains what does it contain? It contains Sudarshan, your name, IIT, C++, Germany. I have input this manually into this file. Now if I come here and I do the same operation x equals open, let me clear the screen so that it's, clear, it's, it's easy on your eyes. x equals open mytext.txt in read mode and then I say s equals x read and then I say print s you guessed it as much whatever was in the file comes and gets displayed here okay so Darshan your name IIT C++ Germany that's exactly what I input to the file right so with this you know the world is yours you can write a big file here a very big file here and then read it Okay, let me try doing that right now. Let me type Sudarshan. Let me type Ajit, Amit, Tatsavit, um, Lakshmi, okay, Bhavna, Ramya, and so on. Okay, Udai, and so on. So I have not written next to each other, I have written one per line. I will save it. And then come back and try the same old trick x equals open my text.txt r and then say s equals x read and I'll say print s it will show me all of them in different lines like this okay is that clear okay so this is what we mean by file handling we can write to the file we can read from the file Right, but then how do I write to the file with these lines like this? Okay, let me create a new file right now. F equals open. Uh, I will say new file dot txt. Okay, write format. New file. This is a different file from this. Okay, done. And then I'll say f write 
this is the first line okay and then we'll say f right this is the second line okay and then say f close can you guess what will happen right now will this come in the first line will this come in the second line actually not just because you state it is first line second line it doesn't come to the first line or second line let us go and investigate what comes new file.txt is created i double click on it it says okay this is uh, my text.txt that is not required right now let's look at this this is the first line this is the second line continuously it comes like this how do you take it to the next line okay that's very easy what we will now do is we'll close these things and maybe um, I have closed the file so I'll come here my new file I'll delete it I'll delete it and create a new one okay so what do I do f equals f equals open new file.txt write mode f write this is the first line right this is the first line and after this what you should do is you should write backslash n okay you know what this stands for this stands for a new line the moment you put backslash n backslash n will not get returned to the file this is a instruction to the file that please go to the new line okay and then i'll say write this is the second line and then i'll close the file okay let me go back and then check what happens my new file see it has come to the second line right perfect so now you understand file handling very well i mean this this is all you need to know about file handling the bare minimum basics of course as and always python has a lot of built in functions you can do more with those inbuilt functions so let's go ahead and see what all extra can we do with file handling in about a minute's time i hope this was visible i didn't zoom it okay so you see the new line character here backslash n doesn't appear here you see moment is a backslash n automatically it takes it to the next line in the file that's the instruction you are giving to python in in handling the file okay perfect so practice with just whatever i have taught you okay please note the second parameter here tells you whether you are opening the file in the writing mode or the reading mode reading means there is an existing file already if you were to put reading mode r here r means reading there is a file already okay w means you are writing to the file okay by creating a new file all right there is something called a also here okay can i leave it to you to figure out what what will happen if you were to put a here all right let there be some uh, homework too let me not teach you everything <laughs> okay so a for append you can probably guess what's the difference between w and a okay try doing it if you can't do it then we'll give it as an exercise question so that you have to do it in your uh, as part of your <laughs> exercise problem assignment okay thank you so let's go to the next video and do more of file handling